Hey there, Mercedes here from prettywebs.com and today I'm going to show you how to make gold text inside of Photoshop from scratch. Now we're going to do this without using any digital papers or any other layer masks. This is going to be just gradients and the text. And in order to help you out, I've created 25 gold gradients that you can load into Photoshop and use, uh, which will make it a lot easier to, to create different styles of gold. Uh, and then I've also got these swatches here that you can use in other programs like uh, PowerPoint and Word to create different gradient styles as well. If you're interested in these gradients uh, or the color codes, you can get those at prettywebs.com. Leave me a comment below and I'll give you a link. Uh, my YouTube channel is really new, so I don't have the ability to link to any of this stuff, but uh, I will leave a link here on the video. Uh, if you uh, post a comment and request it, I will leave you a link in the comments as well. So first of all, before we get started with making the text from scratch, I wanna show you how to load these uh, gradients. Okay, so we're gonna start with a new layer. We're gonna come up to File, New. And for this one, uh, we're gonna make it 1200 wide by 2000 high. It doesn't really matter. This is just a working space for us um, just to get give you an idea of how to create this our resolution is 72 and uh, color mode is rgb the gradient color modes are also in rgb so this is going to be for web use for digital use only and you can click create actually i'm going to change the orientation there click create i'm going to switch this to a black canvas just so you can see it a little bit more take our background color hold down the Control command button and delete our backspace. So it's going to be command delete on Mac and control backspace on PC and that'll fill your canvas with the uh, background color, whatever background color you have here. Now I'm going to add my text. And I'm going to bring it down a little bit. So you can add our gradients in using the blending mode options inside of your layers. So if you come up to the layer, the text layer here, um, and click outside of uh, where the title is, just anywhere outside on this side, you'll double click and that's gonna bring up the layer style. These are the, our blending, blending options here. And what we want to do is click on the gradient overlay. Now I already had some set up, so you're going to see um, that there. Uh, but click on this layer, the gradient overlay layer, and you'll get all of these options here. I wanted to show you how to load these in. So when you have this pop-up opened up, the gradient editor, you're going to click on load. And then you're gonna to navigate to wherever you have your gradient file. Mine is on my desktop, so they're called Pretty Webs Gold. And I'll just click on that and click open. And that's gonna load all of the gold gradients. If you would rather just use these quick gradient styles to create text like this inside of Photoshop, you can definitely do that. It's a lot easier and it'll save you a lot of time. Uh, but I'm also gonna show you how to create these on your own. So once you have these loaded here. I'm going to click OK because I want to move this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to bring this back up and I'm going to choose a gradient that I think will look good. And that's why I like these gradients so much. You can just kind of flip through them and see what works for the lettering. So, for example, if you have very thin, wispy style uh, script font or something like that. It might not work very well uh, with something like this. You might need something more like this to get really, you know, the, the sparkle and shine. Whereas this gradient in this thicker font doesn't look as good. Having different styles of gradients will definitely, you know, help you um, pick something that's going to work with your lettering. But if you want to create your own gradients that are going to work with your text. Uh, you can definitely do this here as well. I'm going to click OK and I want to show you oops, 
I'm going to show you the gradients. These are the gradients that are coming uh, with that, gradient, that gold gradient pack that I just showed you. Um, these are a little bit different. These are actually transparent, uh, but they do go from a darker color to a lighter color here. So not for everybody, these two, but I added those in uh, just, just for a little interest. Uh, but this color palette or these color palettes right here will help out a lot because they are all of the colors that are typically found in a gold metallic gradient. Okay, so I'm going to pull this down so I can... I'm holding the Alt key um, so that I can copy this over really quickly just so I can have the reference. I'm going to shrink it down. All I need is the color here. So I'm going to just shrink it down and put it here in the corner so I can have a reference for a gold texture that I want to make, or a gold gradient, excuse me, that I want to make. Okay, so I'm going to add a new text layer. I'm going to hide this one. Now we're going to add a new new text layer here. Okay, and I'm going to move it. And that is really big. Uh, let me change this up a little bit. I'm going to use a radiant, or actually a... Uh, let's use Wilona. This is something I've been using a lot lately. So we'll use this one. And you can grab this. It's, uh, I believe I purchased it on Creative Market. So you can grab it there. Now with our text here, we're going to come back in uh, and again here on the side. You can also come up to Layer and then come into Layer Styles and then Blending Options. And that's also going to bring up that little pop-up menu that I was showing you earlier. So you can either double click here on the outside of the layer itself or you can do it from up here in the main menu. So with that, uh, we're going to choose gradient again. And it's going to give us our last, the last gradient that we used. Uh, but I want to make my own gradient. So what I'm going to do is... I think I'll start here with this gradient. And then when I click on it, it's going to bring up the gradient editor. Now, this is where you're going to change the colors of your gradients. This is why I have this little palette down here. So you can double click. You can click once to select it and then double click it to bring up another pop up. This is the color picker for your stops. So I'm going to choose this color. A, a dark color and you can pick colors from either one of these it doesn't matter you can go from here to here or here to to there these are all variations of the reflection that you'll see in gold anything is gonna work so we're gonna um, choose that one and then I'm gonna make this one also that same color and then the center one I'm gonna make a lot lighter so that's the key to making metallic gradients you're trying to bring out a reflection so this may be the actual color and when the light hits it it brings the color uh, lighter and then darker so you're giving it dimension here uh, and then you can add if you click once on this you can select it and then it'll you can drag it over to create another one just like it click on that once drag it over so you can create multiple reflective areas within your lettering using the stoppers here. But the key really is um, to, to go from, from dark to light to dark to light. Um, this is just, this is the reflection on your gold and that's what's going to make all the difference. And you may have some light that hits a little bit differently. So maybe it's not the exact same color. Maybe here it's going to hit a little bit lighter. So you do have light hitting here. Maybe there's something in the background that's uh, reflecting off of the gold. So it's making it darker. And then you're getting light hitting up here much brighter. 
So you can play with these. Maybe you want a little more light cast up here. And you can add as many of these as you need in order to achieve the reflective quality that you're looking for. Click OK. And this is what our new gold gradient looks like. Uh, before I leave that, I want to show you how to save this. If you decide that you love this and you want to use it in other projects as well, you can save it. Um, just give it a name. I'm going to call this custom gold. And I'm not going to click OK. That's not going to save it. What you need to do is click on New. And that just added the gradient to our palettes here. Um, it will save it here for now. So you'll have to actually save it to your computer. Okay, so now that you've got your gradient saved, there is one more step that you have to take in order to get this saved permanently uh, so that you can use it. Or if these get uh, taken out somehow, you can always have them and load them back in. So what we're going to do is cancel all of this. And we're going to go to Edit here at the top menu, come down to Presets, Preset Manager, and this pop-up window will come up. You'll choose the type of preset that you want to save. For us, it's going to be Gradient. And it's going to give you everything that's loaded right now. So we have, this is the one that we want to save. If we wanted to save multiples, we could hold down the Command Control button and then select the ones that we want to save and then hit Save Set. For us, it's the same thing. We'll choose just the one that we want to save. Click Save Set, and then save it wherever you want to, uh, wherever you want it to be saved. Now you'll have this uh, gradient available to you anytime. All you have to do is load it back into your system, like we did before, and you're done. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe for more design tips for business owners. And don't forget to go over to my website at prettywebs.com uh, to get all of these gold gradients, the gold color palettes, the color codes, all of the supplemental stuff like digital papers and freebies that um, I give away with these videos. You can only get there on my website at prettywebs.com. So make sure you head on over there and subscribe for even more tips, resources, and free graphics. Until next time, thanks for watching.